So here today at the BSH 2022, we had two exciting abstracts on, in the, uh, on CLL, in the Lymphoma CLL uh, session. Uh, one abstract was from the Leeds group uh, by Tal Munir and Pete Hillman, in which uh, the exciting results of BTK inhibitors in first line in CLL patients uh, have demonstrated, unfortunately, that there is some more toxicity than we think. One of these toxicity is the occurrence of uh, cardiovascular complications, which can, in patients uh, who have cardiac comorbidities at start of treatments and are on medications for uh, cardiovascular conditions, who will have high risk of sudden deaths. The second abstract uh, is uh, related, obviously, to the pandemic, where CLL is a condition with a severe immune suppression, and so the paradigm to basically investigate how immune suppression can affect uh, immune responses, morbidity and, mor and mortality by viruses, and certainly COVID is the one we are worried all about. Uh, we have learned that patients, in other terms, the more vaccinations they get, the higher the chances of uh, uh, developing antibody responses and T cell responses. We have a problem where there is unfortunately a group of patients that even if they continue on vaccination up to the fourth vaccination, they will uh, plateau basically. There will be a set of patients who will not mount a detectable antibody response. So what is going to happen to that patients? How comes, uh, what happens to them? Do they, will they be at higher risk of morbidity and mortality? And this is what the community is open to address. Uh, within the evolution of COVID, there will be a new problem in which the vaccines that we have generated were hopefully protective to a set of uh, uh, to a variant, the Delta variant. Now the Omicron variant has emerged. What will be the response to that variant and the future variants to come?